Ok so Apple released the new Mac Pro, and it's an amazing great. The thing has got 8 key slots, for all your expansion needs, along with a commendably sized 1400 watt power supply. Now 1400 watts might seem like a lot, but for a workstation like this it's way too little. And that's the biggest flaw of the product, not many have noticed. CPU wise we are advertised a 28 core Xeon workstation chip. That's going to be the infamous W3175, although with a lower base clock of 2.5 GHz as opposed to 3.1. Apple says the CPU can run over 300 watts unconstrained. How much over? For spikes it's surely reaching the 550 watts mark. 550 watts spike would be just fine, if CPU was the only power consuming component. Next up we have the world's most powerful graphics card. That's two full uncut Vega 20s together, with a whopping 475, plus 75 watts of total power consumption. MI60 consumes 300 watts, and so does the cut down MI50, slash Radeon 7. It isn't unreasonable to assume all 550 watts are used. Oh, and you can have two of them. Quadfire days are back. Now then 550 watts times 3, is already way past 1400 watts. And we aren't including the beefy fans, storage, or other peripherals into calculation. I'm questioning even the afterburner acceleration card is consuming 75 watts at load. How is this going to get resolved? Dunno. Maybe there will be bigger power supplies for sale. Just be wary you won't be rendering full blast with your million dollar Mac without hitting the power limit.